Okay, Cancer, you guys are next for full moon and Libra read. So you get into your energy here. Wow, it's like light feeling here. It's like a clean in the canopy, a forest canopy. Like flying high, like being like. Great creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom, protection, and clarity, and for any messages need to come through for the collective sign of cancer. For this their full moon in Libra read. In Jesus' name, amen. It's like a longing too. Wow. like a pool in there. One off the top, one off the bottom. Expect powerful change, new moon, eclipse. Balance spirituality and practicality. Uh, I always look at this card as um, meditating, but you still have dishes to do. You still have laundry to do. You still have stuff to do. I just feel like there's like this balance that's trying to establish itself. Moonology Manifestations deck. Like this anticipation, like that's what my stomach's doing now. Heart racing. All right, two off the top, one off the bottom. Last quarter moon in Sagittarius, practice gratitude. Very fiery energy here. Um, new moon in Taurus, know your worth. And two, that's why I was drawn to that fiery energy. Um, what was the number one thing in church that they used to say? And it's basically manifestation. It's thanking God for what you're trying to manifest, thanking him even before it arrives. And like visualizing it and thanking him for it. Huh, I had forgotten all about that until now. Thanking God for something before it arrives, knowing that it's coming. That's walking in, that's stepping in faith. That's like really faith walk. The last quarter moon in Libra, make time for self love. Let's go to the tarot. Oh, that was kind of cool. I like that word. Anyway. Oh. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles, King of Cups. There's the Lover's card, Three of Cups, Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Uh, okay, what is going on, Cancerians? Here, planting new seeds, attaining that victory, applause, truth, and clarity of the seeds that you planted, and then there's this abandonment thing, being left out in the cold. This, I feel like, is your energy, King of Cups, giving love. 
being able to process this. It's like the loss of something in the midst of Why do I keep hearing the loss of yourself? The loss of yourself. I've never read that card that, like that before. It's like a poverty mindset's being left on the cold, but it's losing yourself. Like feeling like you are. King of Cups is a very divine masculine energy of really being able to process emotions. I always see it as cancer card, your guys' energy. That's your guys' card. But making a choice, here's the lovers, it's Gemini energy, but making a choice. Three of Cups, third party, learning who to give attention to and getting out of your head. But it's like, like there's a moment here of being trapped in your head and making this decision because you've gone from the King of Cups to King of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is that student learning, paying attention. And it's like losing, not even losing yourself. It's like, use that phrase of... Like losing yourself, not in a connection, but losing yourself in looking at the truth. Like you can lose a part of who you thought you were or who you, what you thought was going on. Like it's like then you have this going on. It's like all of this coming up. No wonder you have to practice self-love. Really visualize what you want here and thank God for it before it arrives. Like, I feel like you've already determined which way you're going with this. Why is the three of cups here? It's like the third party. It's like choosing between two paths here. And that's the thing is that King of Cups takes time out to kind of process it. How do I feel? Five of Pentacles energy is like, I don't want to lose myself in the process of trying to, that's what it is, like trying to please someone and trying to be everything they want me to be. So taking time out and really King of Cups processes that. The, how do I feel? Which direction do I want to give, you know, this cup to? Instead of, is that what this is? If you are empathic and you get into a connection with someone, immediately you know what they need. You do. Then when you get into that type of connection and they're not reciprocating or giving, they're not all in like you're all in. Cancerians are all in when it comes to love, relationships, romantic. Like they're just all on the table. Um, and by not having them all in, in the past, it's like you go through these connections where like you can do what they need you to do and you can kind of lose yourself in it, but it would only last so long because you've lost yourself in it. And I think here it's a fear of not wanting to repeat that again. Like, you don't want to give to someone so much that they're not giving to you. And then you're healing them, taking care of them, and they're just not giving back to you. And I think that's where, what you're healing right now, like you're like face to face with it and made a choice. And if this was two different people that you were making a choice of, like, I feel like you're choosing, you're learning which one, like which direction to go to. 
it's like in your head, like you're like in your head about it. Eight of Swords, though, it's like very paranoia energy that's fear based. So there's still a level of fear here because, and, and see, when it comes to the Eight of Swords, overthinking, but it's not overthinking, it's I understand where the fear is coming from because when you have connections like that where it's all about the other person, it's not about, it's not about the us, it's about them then you lose yourself in that you just kind of disappear in them so this is about changing that cycle and pulling yourself out of it and making the choice to learn which direction to give to with the kings here is divine masculine energy of giving so king of pentacles is what or who do i give to to where it would reap the reward that i'm seeking planting the new seeds and not being left out in the cold. And I feel like the eight of swords, you're still like in that energy of am I overthinking this? Am I like, is this gonna turn out okay? Is this gonna blow? Like there's a, it's just based on fear. And when you've been through it a lot, I get the eight of swords, like I understand it. And no one's downplaying that at all. It's just, and I hate leaving a read like that. Page of Wands, Three of Swords. Yeah, there's heartbreak here. That's the reason the Eight of Swords there is the overthinking and just really being in this mindset of being hurt again because there is hurts that you haven't talked about. There is, there's hurts there. Four of Pentacles really hiding it. Page of Wands is messages. It's very hurtful. Like it's come in. Like it's, but you haven't talked about that. So I'm thinking that's like where the Eight of Swords energy is coming from, being in your head. And feeling like you've been abandoned here in the past and really not wanting to do this that way again like not wanting to go through the cycle of disappearing in someone else's needs because this is what this looks like i need three more i can't leave it like that either moon card six of cups oh my god Yeah, this is about healing. It's a healing past. During this full moon, the energy of this full moon, there's a change from the past that's happening here. Six of Cups is how you feel in this present moment. Um, the devil energy, I feel like it's those fears. And it's this, like a lot of pain here. Queen of Swords. Someone that and it just it's not even the light side to the card i feel like it's someone that abuses their power misuses it and it's really put you in this position of hurt grief not even over being abandoned i think you're just more pain that there was no change there And like, if you, like you invest so much time in a connection with someone trying to heal them and trying to build them up and trying to tell them, you know, and try to show them that they are worth more. And then you get to the point to where they're just, they're not listening because they're not based on shadows. So you can lead them to healing. You can't make them heal though. And it's that type of, and I feel like that's what you're grieving. It's just like a, it's a disappointment is what it is. Not even disappointed in the connection, not turning out, but disappointed in the person that you realize they are. It's like disappointed in them. I thought you were better than this. Like sadness here. Now that I'm feeling that. Hermit, magician. Ace of Cups, this is what you're manifesting. 
this is what you're pulling yourself out of and figuring out and really learning um, who to give your attention to. This is a healing journey for you and it's gonna, a lot of self-love, you're gonna need a lot of self-love during this full moon energy because all of this is coming to the surface. So for the collective sign of cancer, this is your full moon and Libra read, love and light. 